Well, hello there, my friends. Exciting times we are living in. But today I hear the Lord is saying, you are highly favored and blessed. And he wants you to get a hold of that word, decree and declare it over your life. Believe it and see it happen. God has so much for you. You know, today, again, I have had the opportunity and it is so great when we have choices present in our lives. And we have to make the right choice because that's crucial. Giving direction to our lives and positioning us. And I want to speak to you today about alignment and coming into your kingdom place, your position. To be rightly aligned with your kingdom assignment. And as I reflect and before I had to make an important call today, I reached out to the word for direction. And here is what the Lord said. And it's incredible how he will lead you, how he will direct you and give you word to bring you into his alignment. And I want to read for you out of a wonderful edition of the Bible, of the word, the Supernatural Bible from Sid Roth. And right here, what the Lord gave me today was in Joshua. Joshua 3, as Israel is crossing into the Jordan. So how do you know how vital that word is? Crossing over. Crossing over. I could not have planned this better than what the Lord gave me here. And in the morning, Joshua got up early and then he said to all the children of Israel, set out from Shittim and come to the Jordan. Who knows, you have to come to the river before you can cross over or cross through it. And they stayed there before crossing over. So sometimes you have to stay in a place. And it might not be the ideal place. It's a temporary place. It's an uncomfortable place. It's a place of waiting, a place of preparation before you can cross over. There's a preparedness, a getting ready for you to be able to cross over. So after three days, the officers went through the camp. And they commanded the people, when you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God and the Levite priest carrying it, then you shall set out from where you are and go behind it. So very important. We will keep our eyes on God and his leading and they had the Ark to follow. So they were instructed, but those in authority, those that had the know-how, the timing, everything they got their instructions and they accordingly had to prepare there must be a distance of 2,000 cubits between you and it do not draw closer to it in order that you may know the way you should go so our positioning is absolutely important with God our positioning is crucial for us to know where we need to go when we follow because we need to be able to see the one we are following. So Joshua said to the people, Consecrate yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will perform wondrous deeds among you. So when we consecrate ourselves, we focus, we get rid of, we shred all the other things, the distractions, and we focus on the very focal point, the one. So Joshua said to the priest, Pick up the Ark of the Covenant and proceed ahead of the people. Ahead. And God says, we are the head and not the tail. And he is the head. We follow the head. So they picked up the Ark of the Covenant and went in front of the people. Because they were leading. And the people follow. They follow the leaders in front of them. Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, Today I will begin to honor you in the sight of all Israel so that they may know that just as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. How important is it for us to know that as leaders and that our leaders have that clear positioning 
that we follow, not blindly, but that we follow those with vision, those with honor, those with distinction, direction. And in that place, he said, you shall command the priests who carry the Ark of the Covenant. When you come to the bank of the Jordan, stand still in the river. So Joshua said to the children of Israel, draw near and hear the words of the Lord your God. And Joshua said, by this you will know that the living God is among you and that he will thoroughly drive out the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Hivites, the uh, Perizzites, the Girgashites, the Amorites and the Jebusites from before you. So God will drive out the enemy and those that oppose us from before us when we come into position and we wait and we follow. And in the note here, this is what I really want to leave you with in Joshua 3 from verses 1 to 17 is a piece that was written by Dr. Keith Ellis. And Dr. Keith Ellis says here, this is a moment of historic preparation as Joshua and the people of Israel are preparing to cross over the Jordan River and advance toward the promised land. Remember in a crossing over, we are advancing. And whenever we move, we move forward and we advance. That is our whole mission and purpose of moving, is moving forward, not backwards, but advancing. Advancement for kingdom's purpose is always attached to the movement of God's glory. Very essential point. Very essential point. The advancement for God's kingdom purposes is always attached to the movement of God's glory. So in verse 3, we see that the movement of God's people is based on following the Ark of the Covenant, which represents the manifest presence of the Lord in their midst. They were to move in sync with the movement of the glory. It was important that the people stayed behind the Ark. The same is true today. We don't want to go out in front of God presumptuously. We want to move in harmony with his movement. And that harmony, I'm excited to see, and as I have listened to some other broadcasts from some of our friends um, this week, just briefly, and other ministries and pastors and things that are going out, as we are realizing more than ever, we need to unite. We need to come together as a body, as a united front to take down and change and facilitate this God's kingdom, our kingdom, into this world system. And that movement needs to be soaked in harmony. So in verse 5, Joshua tells the people to prepare themselves as the Lord would work wonders among them. He gives them a promise. He gives them a hope, a future. There's going to be wonders amongst you who do not want to see wonders and God's wonders. We all long for that. As the Lord would work wonders among them. That was what they were holding on to. So as the people moved ahead, the supernatural glory of God showed up. How do we not long and how do we not cherish when God's supernatural glory shows up? When the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant stepped into the river Jordan, the natural elements gave way to the glory. Who knows that everything in this world needs to come into obedience to God. So the water flow stopped and was cut off. The people proceeded to cross over on dry ground. So know today that that flood of the enemy that comes in, because when the enemy comes in like a flood, what does God do? He raises up a standard. He separates the waters. He prepares the way. He makes you cross on dry land. You will not get all muddy and stuck, but you will cross over with glory. 
So no longer does the glory of the Lord reside in an ark, a tabernacle or a temple. Those were old covenant shadows that were fulfilled in Yeshua and released to the people, to us of God, through the dwelling spirit, the indwelling Holy Spirit. Because of Jeshua's redemptive work, the ultimate price that he paid, you are a carrier of his presence. You are. You are a priest who is filled with his glory. If this is true, then the environments and atmospheres we are called to go into should adapt to that presence of glory, of that glory dwelling in us. So everything stops, shifts and adjusts to accommodate the glory of God. As it was with the children of Israel, so it shall be with the believers in Yeshua today. God's glory will supernaturally take you from your wilderness to your promised land. So today I pray and I come into agreement with you and with our, the word from our Father that he's given us as direction, with the, his glory manifest. And I am agreeing with you that everything will stop, everything will shift, and everything will adjust to accommodate his glory in your life and your family's life, in your ministry, in your business, and everything that you shall put your hand to that his glory shall manifest. Just as with Israel, when they saw the wonders and the glory, it shall be with you as a believer, as Yeshua today. So God's glory is supernatural and it's going to take you in a supernatural way. It's going to give you a supernatural strength. I pray and I declare that over you today. Supernaturally, it will give you wisdom, enlightenment, insight. Hindsight is not for us. We have foresight because guys, God gives us eyes to see and ears to hear. So let his supernatural glory manifest in you today. And all you have to do is receive it and say, say, yes, Lord, I receive. I have that. I'm obedient. I'm coming into alignment. I am not going to stay in the wilderness, but I am moving with you, following you into the promised land. So be blessed and be be obedient is what I'm encouraging you to be today. To follow him into your promised land. God bless you and keep you and may he multiply and tie this word to you today. In his precious name.